what's up guys so today is wednesday and it is 6 11 p.m and i'm about to get ready um brian got i think we got tickets from work to go see is it post malone i only know like two songs by him i think i know saucing i'm saucing i'm saucing oh, na, 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 na. <laughs> i know that song but whatever it's something to do so why not so i'm about to get ready right now i have to like kind of rush because we have to be there by <clears throat> 7 30 and i don't even know what i'm wearing yet or anything and i do want to say thank you guys so much for all your support in my last video i know it's kind of difficult to open up to people on youtube because still even if you say something even if you just share how you're feeling people always try to make something negative out of it and i did see comments like that so which is annoying because like i'm just sharing my opinion or sharing my thoughts and how i'm feeling and to make something negative out of something like that is just dumb but i got so much support on that video so thank you guys so much for you know understanding where i was coming from but yeah um i'm about to get ready right now and i'm watching the glam twins while getting ready oh yeah and i do have a glass of wine as well it's so weird being on the first floor like i have the blinds open just so i can do my makeup with natural lighting and people are out here walking their dogs like i told brian when he was moving in i'm like he really wanted a first floor because i guess he hates bringing things upstairs but i'm like first floors are the worst okay save that for your house but yeah let me go get ready and i will see you guys soon So many people in the line for this concert. So many people on a Wednesday night. She wanna show y'all her outfit. So day where I got myself from mine. So she got the shoes from Fashion Nova. Are you sure? Yeah. She got the pants from Fashion Nova. Shirt from Pretty Little Things. The jacket from Pretty Little Things. And my it raised for fashion over. My, get, my, my right, jacket so Gucci, you know what I'm saying? 721. It's different. Polo. Polo, you know what I'm saying? What? what? We don't got the same. That's a different jacket. Right, that color. Brian got his stuff from Forever 21. Is this, this was from Toronto. Oh, yeah, it is. It's from Toronto. <laughs>
Today is Friday and I'm just sitting here at my desk in my room just chilling like a villain. Um, I'm about to order Uber Eats if I can find my where did I put my phone? Where's my phone at? I don't know. I'm about to order Uber Eats because I'm not in the mood to cook today. Um, even though I did want to make pasta, but I didn't even thought of the chicken or anything like that, so I'm like forget it. So Brian's actually at work right now. He's on his way to Baylor. I I think that's the school um, that's, that they're facing tomorrow. Not too sure, but um, I'm actually heading there tomorrow as well. But I'm going to go up tomorrow morning with a few of um, some of the other workers' girlfriends. So I'm going to go along with them. And I'm dreading it because we have to wake up at 7. No, we have to leave by 7.40. So that means I have to wake up at like 6.30 a.m., 6 o'clock a.m. to be at the girls' house for 7.40. And then we're, we're leaving so oh i am so not a morning person so i'm so not ready to wake up at that time that means i gotta get my ass to bed early even though i struggle to fall asleep sometimes i suffer from insomnia like literally i'll be up all night sometimes because i can't sleep i t toss and i turn and like next to you know brian's on his way to work so yeah it's bad i it's actually you guys didn't see that. So tomorrow's actually supposed to be like 50 degrees at the football game. And you guys know me, like I get cold easily. I freeze. So I'm wearing a jacket. I'm wearing a hoodie, long sleeves, all of that. Because if your girl is cold, I'm going to be so miserable. And it's actually kind of cold today. Like in this house, it's cold. Like I don't even know if the sun is out. Let me see if the sun is out. Yeah, the sun is not out. The trees are blowing. Like I'm feeling this window thing over here. And it's cold. So... I told Brian, I'm like, babe, can I put on the heat? Because it's so cold. He's like, sure, babe, go ahead. Of course you can. So I put the heat on to 80 degrees. I put it on to 80. And he told me that I could put it up to 82, but I'm going to see how 80 is first. And then if it's still cold, I'm going to put on, I'm going to put it to 82. And I'm actually wearing like a t-shirt and i'm wearing pants and everything so i don't know why i'm so cold but i'm cold um i think i'm anemic like i haven't actually got tested for that or whatever you have to do to find out if you're anemic but i feel like i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i am and i have low iron so that's another thing so yeah today um what do i want to do i need to clean up because it's kind of messy um i want to clean i also want to do some laundry and then more online shopping <laughs> Then I need to clean my room because my room is super messy. So those, that's what I have on the schedule today. And then I got to watch Project One Way, How to Get It With Murder, and Scandal. Like three shows today is lit. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but my curls right now, they're like spiraling out of control. Like they're so popping right now. And I just, of course, you guys know what products I use. My, I use my Diva Curl products. I actually have a demo using the products and my hair comes out so good almost every time I use this product so like I love them so much and oh my god yo shout out to everyone who was on my um, my latest video on my Instagram page who contacted Diva Curl and hashtag them and added them and everything because guess who was in my DMs guess who was in my email Diva Curl you guys are the bomb like I have the best squad ever so shout out to you guys cuz they said they're gonna send me some free products. Woo! I'm so excited. They're like, do you want me to send it to your house in Texas or do you want me to send it to your house in Toronto? I'm like, Toronto, please. So I am so excited. Like, I just actually bought new Diva Curl products and I was just like cringing inside because they're just so damn expensive. So I am so happy that I got them. Let me show you guys what products I use, first of all. Okay, so for my leave-in, I use the Diva Curl Be Leave-In. And then, of course, for, as a styler, I use the Super Cream. And guys, this is like almost done already. And I used it like only two times. They need a bigger version of this product. 
And then as my gel, I use the Ultra Defining Gel with the Stronghold. And Light Hold does not work for me. I actually want to try the Archangel Gel. So yeah, these are the three products that I used in my hair. And for my conditioner, ugh. Because I wasn't going to go buy the conditioner as well because that's hell expensive. So I used the Coconut Curls as my conditioner. And I actually really like this stuff just to leave in my hair. So I did leave a little bit of this in my hair and I did wash some of it out. I really like this stuff by OGX. I deep conditioned while I was in the shower as well. And I used the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask. And I used it mainly because it contains peppermint and keratin. And I feel like... You know, lately my hair needs a little bit of protein in it, so that's why I use this. And then the peppermint helps with my scalp because I do like suffer from dry scalp. So I really like this stuff and I feel like it makes my curls pop. And it's so thick, I probably used this about four times already and I still have so much left. And usually I go in with conditioners, deep conditioners, and they finish super fast. So this is really, really good. Anyways, y'all, I'm just going to get to cleaning and once I'm done cleaning, I'm going to get back to you guys. And this is a little cleanup, not much, just just made things a little bit more organized for myself. There's still like a few things on the floor, but those are things that are coming with me back home, so whatever. Um, so I have a real addiction right now. Like the addiction is so so real with shopping lately. Like I just can't stop. But I kinda lie, I kinda need like a fall winter wardrobe, so I don't see anything wrong with it. Or at least that's what I'm trying to justify myself buying these items. I'm trying to say it's okay. I don't really have fall, winter clothes, so why not? So I'm on. I was on H&M. I was on I saw it first. I was on Misguided, Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, and yeah. So right now my cart. Let me show you guys my cart right now. This is my Misguided bag. I really want this yellow jumper. I really want this. Um, plaid shirt it's like my green one that I have and then these um what do you call it joggers this red jacket this pink jacket since I have like two pink three pairs of pink shoes and I don't really have a jacket to match it this sweater um and then these earrings and then let's see my pretty little thing Wow, my pretty little thing car is at $542 and they're only having 20% off. And guys, I told myself I was not gonna shop like this anymore, especially excessively like how I've been doing because I'm trying to save a lot. Like by the end of this year, I have a goal to save a certain amount of money and like I'm almost there, but I'm not gonna be there because I've been shopping way too much. Like I literally have been shopping every single day. But my excuse is I need um, fall and winter clothes. Even though like I can survive since I'm pretty much a homebody person. But I don't know. I'm just like I need to get offline sometimes. Like I'm always on Instagram and just looking up, you know, on YouTube. And I'm just like, oh my god, it's so pretty. I want that. I want that. I want that. It's, it's bad. It's bad. So I can't imagine for like people who watch YouTube videos on a regular. Um... Like, just being, like, bombarded with all these, like, dope, cute, popping pieces. And then it's like, shit, like, I'm gonna spend this money that I don't have. Or I'm gonna spend this money that... What the fuck is that? Oh, there's a bug. Oh, I hate bugs. Oh, my gosh. What can I go? Bruh, this is the thing. See, I get new clothes, I don't take the tag off, and then I walk around with a damn tag on all day. So, <laughs> you guys probably see me walking around with this the whole time. Like, what the heck? This is what happens when you buy too much clothes that you don't need. Let me just tuck that in. 
This is warning to all those who love like animals and who are, are against like insect cruelty. I gotta kill this, I'm sorry. I'm scared it's gonna jump though. Oh god, oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh! I missed it, how did I miss? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Uh-uh. This is going in the toilet. Anyways, what was I saying? I was saying that I'm trying to save a certain amount by the end of this year. And yeah, by the looks of it, it's not going to happen because I've been spending too much. But I'm still, like, very happy with how much that I saved. I think I saved a pretty good amount. I definitely could do better. But, you know, sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Especially when you're, like, pumping out hauls and all that type of stuff. You know, sometimes you got to spend in order to make back that money or make more. So, that's sometimes how I look at it as well. But, yeah, I'm actually going to order some Uber Eats right now. And I'm actually talking to my friend Dana Alexis. We are going to Atlanta for Keisha Anderson's birthday or Keisha Kaylee's birthday on November 11th so that's gonna be lit so we're about to buy our plane ticket there and yeah it's gonna be a popping it's gonna be a popping trip so I'm excited for that yeah um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here though I know I've been chatting way too much but hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget there will be another video either tomorrow or Sunday so yeah, I will see you guys all on that vlog and on Monday's vlog. And again, thank you to everyone who commented on my latest vlog video. You guys are amazing. I read most of you guys' comments even though I couldn't reply to all of you guys. But I appreciate it so much. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys later.